All right, let's wrap up this 101 section by talking about fixed versus volatile functions. Basically, volatile functions are just functions or formulas in Excel that change every time the workbook recalculates. Um, and I don't just mean when a cell that's tied to a given function changes or an array or reference that feeds into a formula changes. I mean any time you enter data anywhere in any open workbook. So they call them volatile functions for a reason, and that's because they're just constantly changing by nature of what they do. So uh, there aren't a ton of volatile functions in Excel. The more common ones and the ones that we're going to cover specifically uh, include now and today, which are date and time functions, rand, which is a random number generator, and some advanced lookup functions like offset and indirect. Um, so one tip here, you can actually change the calculation option if you choose from automatic, which is the default, to manual. Automatic means that any time you change a cell or reference that's tied to an existing formula, the output of that formula will change, which is what you want 99.9% .9 of the time. Um, by changing that option to manual, you're essentially saying, I want to freeze all of my formulas in place as if they're values, and I only want you to recalculate when I press the recalculate or calculate now button uh, in the formulas tab. So word of warning, this can be useful at times, but it's very easy to forget that you changed the setting to manual. Um, if you do change it, just make sure you change it back. Otherwise, you'll, you'll end up with uh, frozen or outdated formulas in your workbook. Um, but there are benefits, you know, if you have a, a workbook with 10,000 or 100,000 formulas that are constantly recalculating, you might be able to save yourself some headaches by switching to manual mode and only calculating when you choose to. So let's jump into Excel and do a quick example. Um, I'm going to use the RAND function in column A. So this is just going to basically create a random number between 0 and 1. And don't worry about the details. I'll cover this uh, in section 4, I believe. So basically what I've done is just create 10 random numbers out to 15 decimal points from A1 through A10. and in place. Um, if I do want those to calculate, I just hit the calculate now button right here. And as you can see, that's basically having the same effect as any other workbook change, except now I'm in manual mode. So switch back to automatic so you don't forget. But in a nutshell, that's what volatile functions are all about. And with that, let's jump into the next section, talk about logical operators.